Hey guys, welcome back to my channel EG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this creative looping animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks inside of After Effects. And if you want to learn more about motion graphics and logo animation and other stuff, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses. Links are available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effect. Let's create a new composition. We are going to call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is 1 minute long and background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Then I'm going to select my ellipse tool and I'm going to delete this fill. I don't need the fill and a uh, stroke color i'm going to choose let's say purple color over here like this or uh, let's say this bluish color okay and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse like this now select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and stroke width i'm going to choose let's say 40 okay now select this ellipse and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and go to the fill options and we are going to choose uh, somewhere around like this uh, purple bluish and stroke color i'm going to choose white color now select this press s and let's decrease the size of it like this and simply bring this over here uh, let's make the size 14 or let's say 10 okay zoom in a little bit and let's increase the stroke width somewhere around like this so let's make this fit so we are getting this kind of stuff now select this and press p for position create one keyframe uh, and let's bring this downwards like this okay zoom in a little bit let's go to around uh, one second over here select this and let's move this over here like this then go to around 2 second, copy the first keyframe, hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Go to the start, press S, create one keyframe, hit U. Zoom in a little bit. Let's go to around 1 second, create another keyframe. Go to the last, create another keyframe over here. Now at this point, I'm going to increase the scale to 20 or let's say 14. Okay, so we are getting this kind of increase in size or uh, let's make this 20. Let's see how does it looks it looks like this let's make this 15 like this yeah and at this point i'm going to make it 5 okay so if you see we are getting this kind of animation now select those keyframes and hit f9 so we are getting this kind of stuff like this okay now go to around one second i'm going to select this layer and i'm going to press ctrl shift d to split this layer okay and this one is going to be the backwards now select this stroke hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as mask okay and let's bring this at the top and over here we are going to choose alpha inverted mask so we are getting this kind of stuff so if you see this animation we will get at this point we will get the, we will get the look like this is going behind okay and if you want to see it more you can change the color of this one to totally bluish color like this so you can see something like this now go over here select this three layers and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as ellipse and hit ok double click to open this hit u and hit n over here to trim this comp right click trim comp to work area go to the main animation we will get something like this okay now uh, let's do one thing this is quite uh, light so we will choose again uh, something like this now go to the last keyframe of this comp and press ctrl alt and t to enable time enable remapping uh, okay go one frame backward create one keyframe and delete this keyframe alt click on this stopwatch and apply loop out expression on it like this okay 
so we will get this animation continuously okay so now this is the one method now as you guys know the by default uh, anchor point is at the center so press r for rotation then hit ctrl d to duplicate it press r and we will make this rotation 20 select this hit con and if you see we are getting something like this so instead of 20 let's choose 30 again hit ctrl d let's make this 60 hit ctrl d r we are going to simply uh, add plus 30 like this okay so as you guys can see we are getting this animation now we are going to take a distance of 10 to 5 frames maybe so we can adjust it like this and select all of them by holding alt open square bracket we will trim this go to the start and let's move this over here so if you see we are getting this kind of animation now along with that right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null okay now select this null press r for rotation create one keyframe now go inside this and if you guys can see uh, the animation is looping at two second so uh, we will go somewhere around eight second maybe like this hit n over here and let's make this one complete rotation so if you see we can get this kind of rotating animation as well okay so this is how you can do this kind of stuff otherwise uh, if you want more of this uh, stuff then what you can do let's for example we'll delete all of this ellipse first we have only this simply select this press r alt click on the stopwatch and type open bracket square bracket inside that type rotation okay open bracket close bracket type 0 go forward add plus and choose 20 star index okay and simply hit ctrl d several times until unless you will get properly over here like this and then you can go to the five frames you can select all of them hold alt close square bracket to trim this let's move this up to properly five right click keyframe assistance sequence layers and hit ok and then uh, increase the duration of it let's go somewhere around over here hold alt open square bracket to trim this up to this go to the start and let's move this over here so now you will get this kind of stuff okay so this is how you can create and you are gonna get this animation in the form of loop so uh, it looks like they are uh, uh, moving around this uh, ellipse then you can select this last one hit ctrl d and change the stroke color to white uh, sorry uh, and decrease the stroke width a little bit okay so you will get this kind of structure over here like this okay i'm going to go inside this contents ellipse stroke choose round cap and i'm going to add dashes over here like this then select this press r create one keyframe go to the last and let's make this one complete rotation like this okay or uh, you can instead of that you can add a minus one so you will get a different rotation so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation inside of after effects